Welcome back. You're watching Biz Lounge and Stephen King, the head of Virgin Atlantic in India, is with us. And here's a look at how this young leader is setting the pace for the airline in India. Stephen, he came in around like one and a half years back. Uh, he brought in a lot of new energy, a lot of new ideas. You know, he's happy to experiment, he's happy to let us try different things. So, it gives you a lot of freedom to work in your own way and gives a lot of confidence to the team here. He's very inclusive, he's very empowering, he's very challenging and he's extremely passionate about what he does here. So, even if I'm passionate, he's even more passionate. So, it's kind of good to kind of see two energies coming together and saying, you know, this is the best solution. My role is about creating a, a, a fun environment where people can really thrive and deliver the best that they've got. Um, so that's what I work hard on. I, I, I always think you should be smiling. Well, we, we all love to party, you know, because we're a fun airlines. And yeah, he's, he's good with drinking. He loves the shots. <laughs> Working with Virgin Atlantic, it's, uh, we call it, you know, fun at work. So it's always, it's always good, it's always, we, you know, cracking jokes, we are working together. End of the day, we all have the same focus, but yes, in a very relaxed and fun manner. He's young, he brings in bright new ideas to the company, uh, uh, he pushes us hard. He's just one and a half years old here, but he's really made his, uh, made his efforts to understand the market as a whole, go out, meet the customers. He's come here at the airport, I think, the most than any of the country managers, so that's great. So, Stephen, you're just 33 years old. How did you get the top job in India at such a young age? So I, I got lucky, I think. It was, uh, it was my lucky day when my boss took me to one side and said, uh, um, have you ever been to India? How do you fancy moving there for two to three years? So, it's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. And what's it like having Richard Branson as a leader? Have you had a chance to interact with him personally? Yeah, we've been lucky enough to, to have Richard to come and visit us here a, f a, cu a couple of times now. Um, he's, a, he's a great chap. He's um, brilliantly focused. Uh, he's a, his knowledge of the, of the detail of what we do as well as, as of the, the sort of bigger picture and, and being able to balance those at the same time is fantastic. Uh, he, he's amazing interacting with people and uh, interacting with a room full of people and uh, making everybody feel like they're they're the one person in that room for for a few minutes when he's talking mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. and um, and also he he loves meeting the team and meeting our staff and doing pictures and it, um, and just just finding out what's going on here and how's your experience been working in India so far I love it. It's um, the the energy and the, the passion and the, the ambition that, that's all around. Uh, my team are fantastic, and, and they really want to. They 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 everything's everything's possible, which it, it, it's not necessarily in in other places. Here we'll we'll deliver it. We'll we'll get it done. I I, I don't think I ever hear really no. That's not going that's not going to be possible. Mm -hmm. um, the and the energy that you see outside as well, and, and, and all these people, all the. 50% of the population is under 25, so there's, there's a lot more coming through, and there's a lot more, um, a lot more of that strength um, that's just going to, I think, going to keep uh, delivering dividends for India, mm -hmm. and and Im improving what we do. Mm -hmm. And having worked abroad for so many years, any difficulties you faced in leading the group in India? I think going to any new country, you you have to. Uh, you, you have to learn learn a bit more about the culture and understand a bit more about um, uh, and adapt adapt your own style to to make it work. Um, I've learned I've learned a huge amount from my team and and they've helped me. They've nudged me at times when uh, I've been going down the completely wrong route or, or starting to behave or react in the in the wrong way. And that's the great thing about having an open team. They're they're willing to they're willing to give you that feedback. And uh, we I think we have a great time. Mm -hmm. What kind of cultural nuances have you faced? Um, one, using mobile phones in meetings. We'll have mobile phones out in, in, in all meetings, um, which, which was a real, real shocker and a real difficult one um, <laughs> for me at the start. And it's okay to, to kind of take a call and say, I'll call you back, uh -huh. which, which is not something that I've, that I've come across that much before. Right. So it's, it's just, you m mustn't let things get frustrated and just go, you know, this is great. Yeah. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Do you feel like you found your true calling? I love planes. Um, I love aviation. I love travel and everything that is. I can't. I, I still don't really believe that I get to 
to play with aeroplanes every day and get paid for it. Um, it's, it, 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 it is the dream job. I do have the dream job. Um, and I think I've got one of the best jobs in my company as well, mm -hmm. um, arguably the best. So, uh, I, yeah. What are some qualities that you dislike about the workplace? Um, I, I'm, I'm really bad at personal admin, like expenses, uh, filling in forms, that sort of thing. And I have a huge amount of forms that I have to, <laughs> have to fill in uh, and get on with here. So that's, that's probably, probably the biggest gripe that I have <laughs> and the biggest frustration that I have. That's not bad, actually. That's the worst. <laughs> Any changes that you think the organization needs, maybe from a cultural perspective? We've, uh, our organization within India is, um, I'm pretty pleased with where we are, where we are now. I've, I've tried to sort of shift culture to make it uh, a bit more empowering and, and to give the team more opportunity to, to, to come up with solutions and to, to work, to work things forward. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, we've got to keep working on it. We've got to keep, keep that decision making happening, happening where it needs to happen rather than, rather than sort of bumping up the hierarchy. Uh, so that, that's probably the biggest thing that I think we've still got some work on. Mm -hmm. Are you finding resistance to that? No, no, it's, 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 it's change. We just have to, um, it, it, it doesn't always happen, happen quickly. And also just showing people that it's okay to make a decision, it's okay to make a mistake, um, as long as you don't make it twice. For me, it's, uh, any, any mistake that you make is, is, is fine uh, the first time, and mm -hmm. then, then we've got to learn from it, and that's the only way that we're going to learn, and it's the only way that we're going to, we're going to get bigger, better, and, and stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay, Stephen, tell us a little bit about your past working experience. I, I joined Virgin about uh, eight years ago uh, as an operational research analyst. That's basically a geeky person with, who does numbers all the time, um, and I did projects around, around the business um, whether it's working on a, a model for how we pay our cabin crew or how we pay our pilots to um, uh, simulating the, uh, a new uh, pro customer proposition we had with a, a drive-through and a private security channel and things like that. And then I was lucky enough to um, get the opportunity to come and, come and live here in India. Yeah. Okay, Stephen, we have to take another quick break here. But when we get back, we'll take a look at what Stephen loves to do in his free time.